In Shining World Compassion Award, news from the United Kingdom. In 2013, wife and husband Roberta or Robbie Bartington and David Wallace fulfilled their retirement dream by moving to Woodfield in Welshmore, South Wales. The plan was to enjoy the golden years in this idyllic location, but Destiny had other plans for them. The couple began to notice the neglected ponies in the area. Within a month of moving to their new home, they took in Ollie Beak, an emaciated pony who was found standing next to his deceased pony companion. Word spread about their kindness, and they began to take in more animals including ponies, cats, dogs, cows, sheep, chickens, squirrels, and even an alpaca. When BBC filmed his sanctuary in 2020, they were dubbed the Accidental Sanctuary. Soon after, they became a registered charity and took the name of Woodfield Animal Sanctuary. When we moved here um, eight years ago, as we've mentioned, it was for a retirement. We were retiring here. We had no more plans to work, but quickly we had to start back working to be able to pay for so many rescues. Um, and we had savings, which we were hoping would last us into our 80s. Um, they actually lasted us less than one year because we had to build so many shelters and field shelters, stables, barns so, to put the animals in. So in effect, we were self funding our sanctuary to start with, um, with, with, us, with our savings. Upon hearing of Woodfield Animal Sanctuary's noble work, our beloved Supreme Master Ching Hai gladly present Woodfield Animal Sanctuary with the Shining World Compassion Award, along with 15,000 US dollars in humble support of your caring work. With many thanks and lots of love in God's mercy, may you and your adored residents be abundantly blessed by the divine. Our association members in Surrey, United Kingdom, were pleased to present the award letter Crystalline Plaque Master's publication and her financial contribution to Mrs. Bartington and Mr. Wallace. The following is an excerpt from the letter. It is with great admiration and gratitude that we present to Woodfield Animal Sanctuary the Shining World Compassion Award for lovingly converting your home into an animal sanctuary, as well as nurturing and giving comfort to many adopted animal companions. This award is presented in recognition of your benevolent and conditional love. For your untiring commitment and compassionate dedication, with high esteem, we are honored in praising the exceptionally loving deeds of Woodfield Animal Sanctuary, with special thanks to Roberta Bartington and David Wallace. The kind-hearted couple was touched by the beauty of the crystalline plaque as they received the award. Thank you. Oh, that's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Wonderful. Oh, absolutely yeah, exquisite. I've great. never seen anything so lovely. Yeah. And that will be very pride of place. Pride of place in our hearts. Yes, well. thank you to the Supreme Master, Ching Hai. Yeah. It's just beautiful. Thank you so much. The co founders were very appreciative of the monetary contribution from Master. Oh, my goodness, look at this. That's absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. We're overcome. We are overcome with this. This will and change our lives. It will change the animals' lives. We must say how grateful we are and thank you to the Supreme Master Ching Hai. Um, it comes at a time when we are st struggling to carry on uh, because of COVID and all the uh, fundraising activities that we've lost. And um, this is just amazing. just amazing and will really, really help us. Thank you again to the Supreme Master Ching Hai. We will be forever in gratitude to her. Thank you. Thank you so much for this wonderful, amazing sum of money. Um, it will help us because we've had a lot of male horses, colts, coming into us because they're not wanted. So this will help us to take even more in and look after them. Absolutely amazing. Thank you so much. Supreme Master Ching Hai, thank you. We extend our admiration and heartfelt congratulations to David Wallace, Robbie Bartington, and the Woodfield Animal Sanctuary volunteers. May all the animal residents enjoy peaceful days and happy lives under your loving care in God's infinite grace. For the full presentation of the Shining World Compassion Award to the Woodfield Animal Sanctuary, please tune in to our Shining World Awards program at a later date.
Scientists urge dietary shift to alleviate climate crisis. World scientists' warning of a climate emergency 2021 is an urgent update to a paper published in 2019 that warned of untold suffering from climate disasters. The authors state that we are nearing or have already crossed tipping points of Earth's critical systems. Alarmingly, in 2021, Greenland and Antarctica each show the lowest year-to-date amount of ice mass, while ocean heat and sea levels reached new highs. Furthermore, the rate of Brazilian Amazon forest loss accelerated in 2019 and 2020, and the number of ruminant livestock raised globally, the highest source of greenhouse gases, recently exceeded 4 billion. To limit climate-related disasters, the study asserts that humanity must stop the overexploitation of the Earth, which requires making transformational changes such as switching to mostly plant-based diets. Additionally, the publication urges for the elimination of fossil fuels and the restoration of natural carbon sinks and biodiversity. Many thanks, all scientists involved, to avert unrelenting suffering may humanity swiftly transition to the planet-saving vegan lifestyle in universal wisdom. Up next, Utrecht, the Netherlands, develops doorbells so fish can reach spawning grounds. We thank the diligent grocery store workers who help customers bag and pack their items, even sometimes assisting folks in need to carry goods to their cars. Vegan, be someone that even your shadow brings joy. Dutch city creates doorbell to assist fish migrating to breeding grounds. In a canal in the city of Utrecht, fish were bumping against a closed lock as they tried to swim upstream to reach their spawning grounds. A Dutch ecologist Mark van Huckelum noticed their plight and came up with a brilliant solution. Together with the Utrecht municipality and the local water board, he set up an underwater camera that streamed live on a website. The site allowed netizens to press a doorbell. When they noticed, many fish had gathered at the closed lock, thus alerting the boat lock manager to open the lock to give the fish passage upstream. Within two weeks, it attracted 735,000 people from Utrecht and around the world who rang the bell, some 32,000 times, prompting the manager to begin opening the lock at regular intervals. Our applause Mark Van Huckelum, Utrecht Municipality and Water Board for your ingenious and lovely idea. May we connect with and support the lives of our underwater co-inhabitants in God's upliftment. West African farmers find new use for cocoa plant waste. Côte d'Ivoire, the world's largest cocoa producer, will have a new biomass power plant in the town of Daivo that will run on the husks and bean shell discards from the cocoa industry. The facility will provide an additional source of income for farmers and will help to reduce the nation's reliance on natural gas, which generates 70% of its electricity. The 244 million US dollars project will be built by the local firm Société des Énergies Nouvelles or SODEN. When completed in 2023, it will supply electricity to 1.7 million people while preventing 4.5 million metric tons of greenhouse gas emissions per year. Way to go, Soden and Côte d'Ivoire, on your new power plan to turn nature's gifts into sustainable electricity, in heaven's grace. May the warm-hearted citizens of Côte d'Ivoire prosper in good health and harmony as they embrace a fully circular economy. Hero residents save elderly neighbor in residential fire. About 100 people had to evacuate when a fire broke out in public housing building in Singapore. Attentive Ranganathan Mutalachumi rushed into her elderly neighbor's bedroom where the fire was most intense and sustaining burns in the process. Located the 80-year young occupant. Aided by nearby residents Baskaran Shabarish and Shu Xiaoliang, the lady was bravely escorted to safety. The fire was put out within 10 minutes, limiting the damage to just four units. Fortunately, there were no casualties. Singapore's Minister of Law and Home Affairs, His Excellency Keishan Morgan, praised the three heroes for the life-saving efforts and conferred on them the Singapore Civil Defence Force Community First Responder Award. A standing ovation, Ranganathan Mutula Chumi, Baskaran Shabarish and Shu Xiaoliang for your true community spirit and we wish Miss Mutula Chumi a speedy recovery. May your action inspire more people to reach out when others are in perilous situations in divine mercy. Coming up, Vegan Society in New Zealand holds inaugural vegan cheese competition. 
We pause to be thankful for the online platforms open to everyone around the world that allow us to be supporters and activists on behalf of our precious animal co-inhabitants and our gracious earthly home. Vegan Side Effect. Feeling the love from heaven? You deserve it. Vegan Cheese Competition held in New Zealand. The Vegan Society of Aotearoa, New Zealand, recently conducted its first ever vegan cheese contest in Auckland. Over 30 locally made cheeses were taste tested by a panel of four discerning judges, including vegan comedian Tom Sainsbury and vegan restaurateur Luke Burrows. An array of cheeses were evaluated with nine different categories in total, including feta, mozzarella, cream, soft and hard cheese. According to the Vegan Society's national coordinator, Amanda Sorensen, vegan cheeses can be made out of anything from kumara or sweet potato to macadamia nut and cashew nut, and they've got a really lovely component of fat in them for a really nice cheesy mouth feeling. A recent study has named New Zealand the fifth most vegan country in the world. Congratulations to all the competitors involved. With such delicious cheese alternatives now available, may we all soon transition to the compassionate plant-based diet in the radiance of the Providence. Charming feline helps kids feel better about wearing glasses. A child's eye clinic located in Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania, United States, has a unique star employee called Truffles the Cat, whose presence helps youngsters become more confident to wear their glasses. Optician Danielle Crow, who adopted the homeless kitty four years ago, said, She is literally magical with little kids. When Truffles comes in wearing her glasses, crying children begin to laugh, and they want to put theirs on too. With up to 20 pairs of glamorous eyeglasses, Wheeling Truffles also dons eye patches to boost the morale of children who must wear one. The gorgeous optical assistant also has an online social media presence where she shares her message of love, acceptance, and fashionable eyewear. Darling Truffles, thank you for your caring selfless heart. Our appreciation also, Danielle Crow and a child's eyes. May your work continue to help our precious children see clearly into the future in heaven's blessings.